Hello, wild ones. I have an idea, and it's an idea that time has come. I, uh, our family tradition for the holidays, sorry, hold on. Hold on. Someone wants to be seen. Ugh. Okay. This is my puppy, Tuck. <laughs> Tuck, can you look over here? What, Dad? Oh, this is Tuck. So, sometimes she needs to be a baby. So, we're going to do this while petting a baby. Um, <laughs> I have a family tradition for the holidays that my mom, the only thing she asks for is a Santa picture with the kids. Um, and up until COVID, we just would go to the, we'd all meet at the mall and the kids would go run around together. I'd wait in the line for hours and we'd, uh, sit with Santa and get a picture. Um, and then COVID happened and my niece is very um, compromised. So I wanted to uh, solve it in some other way during 2020, when the year that was so hard on all of us. Um, and my friend had a Santa suit and I said, ooh, can I borrow the Santa suit? Um, and she said, you know, Tuck's on the ground. Uh, sorry, she's sitting on the court, so hopefully it's not too bouncy. But I borrowed the Santa suit. It was awesome. We took a picture in front of my garage. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Really worked well. Um, and the kids were like, why don't we do this every year? So I bought a Santa suit. And now I'm Santa for them. And we go all over the Northwest and take pictures of us. Um, and it's so fun. And we love it. So, <clears throat> I put all of my Santa pictures in this green, like, binder. It's really not cute. And I didn't bring it in here this morning, but I will show it to you. It's just not cute. The inside's really cute. Outside's really not cute. So, I want to make a old-fashioned kind of book cover. My friend had this idea to do kind of like we used to make the book covers, um to slide the binder into because I really like the the heft of the binder because it does get kind of packed away for part of the year and then comes out. So I like that it's very protective. So I'm gonna make a soft quilted um, sleeve and then put the sleeve insides. Um, I have to draw it out to show you, but anywho, I'm gonna make a bunch of mini quilts that are holiday themed. And I just pulled out all of my holiday fabric and I'm gonna kind of do some, hmm, does this work together? So obviously those work great together. And cause they're a bunch of little mini quilts, um, I don't have a lot of holiday scrap, I have found out. This is it. <laughs> this is the only scrap holiday stuff I have. But I have a lot of little kind of chunks that I've inherited or have gotten over the years. So I'm just gonna pull out the ones that I think all go together. So I think these are great. Um, I think that leads into this one is great too. And this one. And I, I make a lot of holiday um, napkins and then we are a uh, wrapping paper free family. So I make uh, furoshikis, the little, um, Japanese wrapping blanket, or uh, I guess scarves is what I would call them if I was trying to explain them, and then a lot of little holiday bags. So I always have quite a stash of holiday, but I don't use a lot of it, so this would be a great way to use it up. I have a ton of this, and this is funny because I think, oh, I have a ton of this because this is a project that started. These are napkins. I should just finish those. <laughs> That's hilarious. At least it's one napkin. So there's one. I guess I have one done and I have two that are cut and ready to go. So maybe not that but I do have this piece, so it's gonna go in the top page. 
I don't know if that quite works. I think kind of works. Ah, why not? Maybe not. No, nope, not going to do it. I have so many. I don't need to, to force it. I love that. I think that'll work great. And then the question is, because I'm always one of those people that does a little and then does a lot. Um, I think that works too. This is more a felted material, so maybe this is the inside flaps. Um, this one. Yeah, it'll work. Do I make a top for my sister-in-law too? Because my mom has a really cool, um, I have a little bit more of that. I think that kind of works. It's just got a really soft pattern on it. I don't think that quite goes. Yep, I'm gonna not do that one, not do that one. I think I won't do this one either just because those three go together really well and they will for other projects. I think that works. I don't want, there's ones that are just gray in that same family, but I don't want to use those. Maybe this, hmm, yeah, I think so. And then this one too. <clears throat> This is a gray one, but it has some more color in it. And then this is just like a sweater pattern, I think that. So my thought is now to make two possibly um, and finish these napkins, which is just great. Part of a uh, sewist life is UFOs. I just didn't expect them in the fabric stash. That was pretty funny, cool. Um, not always so organized, <laughs> uh, but I can easily put those into my daily sewing. I try to get up in my studio for about an hour a day. Okay, as I decide um, what pieces and how much I'm gonna take, I have um, quite a few, I, don't, I thought these were fat quarters. Um, they aren't, obviously, they're, they're long quarters. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna just, leave half and take half. So unlike most quilts that require a ton of planning and um, you have to really thoughtfully cut out your fabrics, um, these little mini quilts, I find I get the best results if I just work with however the fabric kind of presents itself and then find a pleasing um, layout that works after I have a bunch of individual pieces um, especially when <laughs> how I work um, for this type of project is I just get a big stack of these ready to go and then I work um, for a whole week just one of my daily quilt of the day is just one of these little packets so as I get ready with the fabric um, these are fabrics I inherited from another Anne's sister. I need to, I need to get her name from my friend. Um, but I guess these are like little quarter yards. They came in a bundle, so I assume, uh, that's part of it. But I'm just going to take half for this project. And I might not use all of this fabric, but I like to get a stack of more reasonable amounts and I like little bits in my studio, so I'm gonna leave a lot of little bits to work with. Um, Cause for my mind, this stuff looks the best when it is like a lot of random pieces together. Um, so just taking half of all those. Now this is a different piece. This is a much bigger piece. I don't like this, um, this is a little busy in my mind, but it'll work great for like the back of these packs cause you can, that's what it'll fold. Well, you can't see this, but um, 
when you fold down the edges, you just get a tiny touch of it. And I think that's better than an all over pattern. But I don't mind this pattern for the inside of the piece. So I have another big chunk and I'm gonna just take about half. So I'm probably gonna have a lot of squarish pieces and I don't know if all of these are gonna be exactly as cut. I probably will cut them up a little bit more to make them look a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna leave this over here because I wouldn't mind getting rid of all of that fabric out of my stash. And this one, I, I like this one, but I think I'm gonna only take a little bit of it um, just so I have a bigger chunk left over. So I'm just gonna take that much for this project and leave this much in stash. I'll fold all these up again. This is another one that doesn't quite read Christmas, but it'll it'll be Christmas enough. <laughs> and then this piece is probably just gonna the whole piece will go in, yeah. Um, and it's got a funky bottom. Um, I am gonna clean that up later because I might use that as like an elf. Like, can you see the elf hat in there? I can. So that piece is gonna go in whole. This piece looks pre-cut for that, those, uh, those things we got earlier, the uh, napkins we found earlier. So I'm gonna leave that out. This is another piece that is fun, but it's a little uh, distracting for my eye. So I think I'm gonna take half of it and assume it's gonna go as the backer of one of the pieces. But I might put it in that same pile. I don't mind if I don't have any of this anymore. So I'm gonna put that in the, if I need more, that's where it's coming from. The red I'm not gonna cut up at all because I'm not sure I'm gonna actually use it. And then just keep doing this. The pieces are getting bigger and bigger because I kind of sort um, I store my fabrics from smallest yardage, especially in holiday section, smallest yardage to biggest yardage. Um, and this is a pretty good chunk. And I love these red polka dots, red and green polka dots. So I'm gonna take a decent sized chunk of this. And then I'm also gonna take, this is that, softer fabrics. I'm not going to cut this up yet because I'm going to use those for a very particular part. And this is probably the only part that won't have any batting in it. Or it might be doubled. Maybe I'll just double it on itself. So it's two layers in there and then you'll slide the binder in between those two layers and what it's hooked to on the outside. So the red and this are not getting cut but I are staying over here for this project. This is a much bigger piece. So yeah, I'd strongly suggest as you're kind of organizing your fabrics to just put them in um, order of size when it comes to like holidays or um, I kind of have like my fat quarter. Um, my fat quarters are all stored in little uh, Target bins and my bigger fabrics, I don't store my holiday fat quarters in there. I put those with the holiday fabrics. So yeah, hope this is interesting. I think that's probably enough. I'm just gonna keep going through the pile. Subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know because I am working hard and I hope that these projects are bringing you joy.